yeah, I had to throw Apple in there. We're both Apple nerds, but like Apple is such a good example of innovation over the years, particularly the past 25. Mm-hmm. If you think about Apple's big success started way back when with the Macintosh 2. Yeah. And that's famously, we saw Steve Wozniak speak famously, Apple was the first that had a color monitor. Mm-hmm. And yeah, it just really got into a lot of homes and was big. But then they didn't follow it up with any like really big hits yeah. to the point where eventually Steve Jobs was ousted and went and started Next Computers yeah. and Pixar and all that stuff. But came back in the 90s and rolled out the iMac which was a game changer, not like game changer in terms of suddenly Apple was the number one computer computer company in the world like they are now, but it brought them back. It was a profitable product. Finally, it was super iconic. We need to get one of those for the office. Mm -hmm. I've been dragging my feet on that. So I want to have an iMac in here, but then it was really the iPod that really totally changed the game in terms of Apple. And all of a sudden, every single, this is when I was in high school. I was actually middle school, but like high school is when I got like an iPod color. Okay. Yeah, I remember. Video color. You could watch videos on it. It was like a whole thing. It still had the click wheel. It was a slightly elongated screen almost. Yeah. Or was it the shorter, stubbier Uh, one? No, it was a four by three, like four, because that's all there was at that point. Yeah, the four by three screen yet. I assume it was four by three. I'm sure there's people out there that will gladly correct me. (laughs) But yeah, the iPod was revolutionary. I remember taking my dad's iPod to school for a project. I needed it for something. And it was like the second or third gen and just being like swarmed by people. Yeah. What is, what's, you got an iPod? Yeah, um, that was cool. The MacBook then came out. The the iBook turned into the MacBook when I was like right around the time I graduated. I had the okay. white MacBook. It's still in my house. My kids have destroyed it. It's broke. It's, yeah, it doesn't work. I gave it to them just to play with. And yeah. They totally they destroyed it. They with it. They did. They sure did. <laughs> it is now, yeah, broken, literally destroyed. broken in two pieces. But yeah, the, and then the iPhone, don't need it. The amazing press conference, amazing. Yeah. So memorable. The iPod, the iPad, obviously it is, there are so many people that don't even call tablets tablets. They call them iPads. iPads yeah. like my grandma has like a, some sort of Samsung or something that they bought at the Verizon store. Mm-hmm. And my grandpa got swindled into buying one. Yeah. <laughs> it's her iPad and Apple Watch. Yeah, Tim Cook kind of first innovative product yep and and here we go vision pro yeah vision as though the tab on the website is vision yeah which i think we both know that means at some point much there's a macbook pro and a macbook someday there will be a vision yeah and the vision pro is just where they had to call it the vision pro because of the price tag i'm pretty sure yep 100 percent. i think i think 100 percent. it was we'll see if that's i mean my early instinct is that will be the next thing i think so just like you said tesla started off with their higher end product i think Mm -hmm. the in this case, Apple is saying, hey, we're going to show you the coolest one. And here's what you can get yeah. for that price point, And then we'll give you the consumer model that yeah. everybody can get. What's interesting about Apple is that, yeah, super innovative, right? You think of them as an innovative company, but they also hold true. I love listening. I used to love listening to Steve Jobs speak. I still will watch an interview from mm-hmm. time to time, but also Tim Cook and just how they talk about their traditions and values of technology, not always being human. And so right now we see this massive push towards AI and all that kind of stuff. Mm -hmm. And Tim Cook always talks about it in a way using these technologies to make us have better human experiences, not to metaverseize us. Ironically, the Vision Pro kind of does that a little bit, but he always talks about technology disappearing, being there when you need it and then disappearing when you don't. And that's always the philosophy of app of Apple. And it's mm-hmm. I love that about that because all of the technology companies are like, buy our products, use this. That. And again, Apple knows people are gonna take that approach with their products. They're gonna use it, it's mm-hmm. gonna be there. But their angle is we wanna have we want to create products that are it's there when you need it and it disappears into the yeah. background when you don't. Yeah. Um, and I've always appreciated that, especially as a minimalistic kind of guy. Mm-hmm. I just love all that stuff. Back in in the early 2000s when you would go to the store and look at buying an iPod versus like a Microsoft Zune or the dozens Mm -hmm. of other portable music devices, the difference between the iPod packaging and everything else was stark. Yeah. Because the iPod literally was like a white box or black box, depending on the product, with a picture of the device and the Apple logo. 
And there was some, there's some little writing here designed in California, made, yeah. designed by Apple in California, all that little stuff. Yeah. But it was a clean aesthetic. Yeah. Whereas well, you'd look at other players and they'd have this chip and these yeah. stats and all this stuff just crammed on the logo. And in the same way, like their computer, like a computer versus an Apple computer, you'd see like Intel inside and Pentium and but right. you know, all these like logos and stuff. And then the Apple would just be sitting there, just a picture of the beautiful device. Yeah. And it's not that they didn't have those things in there. They just right. don't, they don't hang their hats on them that's not what they understand that consumers aren't buying an apple because of the processing power yeah although today they might <laughs> yeah and but there's other reasons that are attracted yeah. to that if you enjoyed this brand nerd podcast clip be sure to subscribe so you never miss an episode in the meantime here are additional videos you might find illuminating